I started riding the Warthog MD750. Is the bike slow because of these massive fat tires or does this 1000 watt motor more than make up for it? To first understand if the bike is actually fast or slow, we need to know some of the specifications. It has a nine speed drivetrain. Thankfully for stopping, we have these Tektro four piston hydraulic brakes, two pistons on each side. And we also have large 203 millimeter rotors, 48 volt, 15 amp hour batteries. Bikonet is using their own branded inverted suspension fork. When the Warthog bikes first came out, there were two different models. There was the HD 750 and the MD 1000. HD stands for hub drive and MD stands for mid drive. So that's how you can quickly tell the difference between the model numbers, but there are now three versions. The one that was missing in the middle there was the MD 750. Hub drive 750 uses the Bafang 750 watt motor. Mid drive models both use the Bafang Ultra. Now that's one thing that's been a little bit confusing I know is the fact that one is called an MD 750 and one's an MD 1000 yet they have the same motor. So what's really the difference in power between those two? And the answer is nothing. <laughs> well there's actually a difference in the way that they're programmed when they're shipped out, but that doesn't actually make a difference to the motor itself because if you want to override those settings, you can. So you can actually go just as fast on the MD750. The 1000 model, however, of course, has the belt drive. It has a higher end suspension fork. So it does have some other components that make it a higher quality or more expensive bike. I think the best way to really get familiar with a new bike or a new model like this, well, the best way to do that is go ride it and ride it in the most extreme way I can. Now, thankfully, I live about 12 miles away and it is an 1800 foot climb to get to the shop. I'm not exaggerating that in any way. There's about 150 feet of downhill along that route. So it really is just climb, climb, climb all the way. And if I wanna push a bike to its limit, what better way to do that than to push it hard uphill for an extended period of time? It says on Google Maps that it would take an hour and 40 minutes to do that uphill route, 1800 feet of climbing over a 12 mile stretch. So we have an hour and 40 minutes for a standard bicycle. So then the question is, what can we do on this massive beast of a fat bike? And the answer is, drum roll please, 40 minutes. I was able to cut an hour off of the regular bicycling time by using the Warthog MD750. So does that mean the bike is fast or slow? Well, obviously compared to a standard bicycle, that is really, really fast. But is it fast for an electric bike? Could we go faster if we had a narrower tire, a skinnier tire? Uh, and of course the answer is probably. Would we cut that dramatic of a difference off the time? Probably not. We're probably talking, you know, five minutes or something faster if we change things out. So climbing, it does really well, has tons of torque, and I still get a lot of exercise. That is 40 minutes of continuous cycling. I'm hoping I can improve my time just by getting into better shape, but then I have the flexibility to take a longer route. Now, as you all know, the Warthog has those two batteries, which means in theory, on an average ride, you could probably do 50 to 80 miles. Now, when you're doing a steep uphill climb, of course, you're not gonna get as far, but what if we just ran full throttle and just didn't hold back anything? Would we still make it? Well, the answer is yes, every single time. It's really easy to do the math on this one because I know that it's only taking about 40 minutes. And let's say we're drawing a thousand watts of power and we do that for a solid hour. 
Well, in theory, we would use 1,000 watt hours or one kilowatt hour, but we have 1.5 kilowatt hours and it's not even taking us a full hour. So there's basically no situation where I could possibly kill the batteries going up that stretch. So you don't have to really worry about what the fat tires are consuming because there's so much extra battery on board, it really doesn't matter, at least for this particular ride. It does everything I could want it to do. Now, what about the downhill stretch? Going the opposite direction. Well, now we have 1,800 feet of descent. That means we can go really, really fast. All right, see you tomorrow. probably shouldn't even tell you how fast I've actually gotten the bike to go because it's not a speed I would recommend. So would I want the bike to be any faster? And here I have to say, no. And the reason is, is twofold. One is the safety factor. The second thing is I'm already pushing some of those speed limits as it is. So the risk of me getting a speeding ticket would go up dramatically if I got rid of the fat tires and again, went to something narrower. So to answer the question, can a fat bike be a fast bike? Absolutely. Now, if you wanna know more about the Warthog MD750, I do have more details, of course, on our website, boltonebikes.com. As of the release of this video, we do have a few of those in stock and finally, you may notice that I haven't been doing many recorded e-bike reviews on the channel lately. Instead, we've been changing things up and doing sort of a live format. I'm finding that's a lot of fun for me and it's awesome for you guys watching as well because you can interact on the live chat and you can ask questions about the bike while I'm there reviewing it. So we're kind of all there at the same time looking at the bike, reviewing the specs, asking questions. And sometimes you guys ask questions that I may not have thought of. If you wanna make sure that you catch those live streams on future e-bike reviews, cause there definitely are more coming, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and have that bell notification turned on. If you wanna see the last live video that came out, you can see that right here. And if you wanna join the higher tier membership then you get access to additional videos that aren't publicly on the channel.